70% of the world's landmass is unaccessible to wheeled vehicles, whereas legged animals are able to access that uh, terrain. Being able to move around with legs is a very effective way to be able to reach many different areas. I'm a graduate student at the University of Michigan, and I do research on walking robotics. So Mabel was a robot we used previously in our lab, and Mabel was the world's fastest bipedal robot with knees. Now we're working with Marlow, and as far as we know, we've achieved 3D walking with the greatest degree of underactuation of any other robot that we know of. So the unique thing about bipeds are, they walk the same way people do. So you can think of applications in manufacturing, rescue and response. You can imagine a robot taking the place of a person's job that could be hazardous or is just more beneficial for a robot to be able to do. So we do quite a bit of outreach to local schools and groups and I think it's great because you get to see the enthusiasm that kids have for robotics and it's exciting for me to imagine what they're going to be able to do when they get to this point. In Michigan during the summer there's a lot of fun things to do and I think even here as a school there's a lot of different recreational things that you can do. I know in EECS we have a team for basketball, football, uh, about any sport and intramural so that's a lot of fun. It's a good way to get to meet people. There are all kinds of different events outside or festivals or even if you like to do recreational things outdoor you can find a lot of places to do that. Working with Jesse is exciting because I think there's a lot of visibility for our lab and it can be a lot of pressure, but at the same time can be very rewarding when we're able to achieve the things that we've been able to do. 